Seven minutes. Yo, let's watch it. <laughs> Where are we? We're at Rainforest. Where are we? <laughs> yep. We must, must In not September enrage the furries here. In September 2015, a group of furries came together with a brilliant idea. Rainforest. A convention for and by furries. Sure. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. Hi, hi, hi. Internet historian. Yeah. We were watching some internet historian. I've been wanting to watch uh, the freaking video that he's uploaded on his second channel. Um, frick, I forgot what it was called. He uploaded that like two, three, four weeks ago, but I was, I, I'd gotten sick and I haven't watched it yet and I, everyone else already reacted to it and I'm still behind, man. This is their story. I mean, I'm just bringing it all in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exploration, exploration, that's that video. Exploration. Rainforest is the reverse of Dashcon. Where Dashcon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused by its what attendees. The fuck am I what the fuck is that? What? What is that? Bro! Oh, Reverse huh? of Dashcon. Where Dashcon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused by its attendees. Is this some inflation fetish? Yeah? Yeah, inflation fetish looking ass, right? Like, what the fuck? I am absolutely sure there is no truth to the rumor that Rainforest is under an evil curse. What? I am... And with that, it is my pleasure to officially declare Rainforest 2015 open! It all started with a talent contest. That went okay. Oh, Dogo! Did you see it the Dogo in the way? Contest. Look at the Dogo! That went okay. Wait, is that a puppet? Wait, did I did I fall for it? Did I fall for it? Okay, Bembo. It all started with a. Is that a puppet or is it a doggo? Well, it's a doggo puppet, right? Did I fall for it? Am I a furry? It's a puppet. Fuck! Am I a furry? Talent contest. That went okay. Uh, uh, Hold up, it's censored down there. <laughs> There's some censorment down there. But as the night went on, some started to get absolutely trapped. What? what? <laughs> Literally? <laughs> Bro, I don't like those fursuits that look goofy. I don't like those goofy ass looking fursuits, man. I I think they look so freaking weird and goofy. Like, you guys do you, right? I just think they look goofy. I like the more realistic looking ones. Is this what the furries do? Looks kind of fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> right? They do seem to be vibing. It's just over for you, but at least you can now collab with Bao. You know what? I accept that fate. <laughs> How do you survive being drunk in a fursuit? Right? Like, wouldn't you feel so fucking hot? Oh! A few hours later, the destruction had begun. Somebody had deliberately loosened the bolt on one of these toilets. What? <laughs> what so that when that? the next person flushed, water flooded everywhere. Two and a half inches deep. An emergency plumber was quickly on the scene, but the damage was already done. Water had leaked through the floor and onto the basement servers oh, below. No. Meanwhile, staff and security <laughs> were threatening to throw out some of the guests. They had disabled the fire alarm so they could hotbox their room. Oh, nah. Obviously. Please, RT, if anyone messed with the smoke alarm in their room, tell Ren first stuff ASAP. We almost. Got kicked out because of your idiocy. Idiocy. Maybe that was accommodate the water type for you. Oh my fucking god. Obviously, there are reasons not to do that. It is the common of the, hot the tub, fire department. That's true, though. All of these though. towels and threw them into the spa. Why? What? But not before rolling up towels and stuffing them directly into the pump, causing thousands of dollars in damage. 
Someone just chose fucking violence that day. What? And they stepped it up a notch from Dashcon. From going number one in the ball pit to going number two in the swimming pool. <gasps> no. Why? Due to vandalism, what did that say? The hot tub is closed. The rest of the con, sorry for the inconvenience. Oh my god. Back at the bathroom, there were rumors that someone had drilled a glory hole into one of the stalls. <laughs> Although this wasn't confirmed. But what was confirmed... I believe it. I believe it. ...was a hall of over 2,000 nitrous oxide canisters just laying around in rooms and hallways. But that was just the start of the drug problem. First, a couple of guys overindulge in mushrooms inside. and need an ambulance. Then a staff member gets arrested for sexual assault. Of course. Uh, that's then someone else is arrested else? for a regular assault. A few <laughs> others drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other of side course, of the car... Th that should say vet. A few others... Vet Care Express Animal Ambulance! <laughs> ...drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other side of the car park, two more people are being arrested, one for drug possession and the other for dealing. Drugs was the major problem. Well. Meanwhile, you have these guys roaming. Is that guy wearing diapers? Bro, is that guy wearing diapers? That looks like he's wearing diapers! Oh. I mean... I... I... Yes, if you gotta wear the the suit all the time, you gotta, you know. And if you don't want to take the the fur suit off, that you didn't know this one, it's absolutely glorious. Oh boy, is he using the diaper? If he's gonna wear the diaper, of course he's gonna be using the diaper. What do you expect? Don't underestimate the IT guy. Jay, are you furry? <laughs> They call this, it this is Jay still here? after the noise it makes when they walk around. And yes, some of these diapers are full. Uh. The other guests weren't too pleased. <laughs> Later on, they're just throwing food and diapers in the gardens and stairwells. They were behaving <laughs> like... Animals. animals. <laughs> One thing that's important is the U.S. that you guys all be really good back to the hotel. Do you know the elevator buttons? You don't have to use your foot. Why would you use your foot? You left off the big cold. <laughs> A few hours later. Put your pants on and stop breaking shit! This one at least doesn't look that goofy. You know, this, this one is more to the... It's more big... Uh, more of a mix between realism and uh, cartoonish, but not as A goofy as the later. other ones. The mouth moved, yeah. This was honestly pretty cool. That, that that's possible. Oh, breaking shit. But that wasn't the end of it. Uh, there was an incident where uh, it was an incident being found on people's cars. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Of course. The hotel was left. <laughs> oh my in ruins. god. Four to six weeks later. The okay. submitted a letter listing all of the reasons Ray- Wait, this was at the Hilton Hotel? This was at a Hilton Hotel?! ...first would not be allowed at their venue from now on. The hotel damage was more than all of the other cons combined that year. But it wasn't just the damages. Rainforest was insured and had over 150 grand in the bank to pay for it all. Rainforest was just so toxic that they said, No, thank you. Take your money oh. elsewhere. Oh my god. But that left them with a rather large problem. God. Because big hotel chains talk. Hilton talks to Sheraton, talks to Marriott, talks to Holiday yeah, Inn, talks yeah, to Hyatt, definitely. talks to Best Western. So but there's more. Someone was sending detailed letters to nearby venues, warning... They couldn't go anywhere, man. Damn. Them why they Damn. shouldn't host the next rainforest. 
Soon, hey, good on them. There isn't one hotel in Seattle that has a convention center willing good to host. Good on them, actually. Like, that, that is good. Like, I honestly respect it. Like, no, you don't want to host those people, man. Fuck that. Like, if you're gonna vandalize shit, why? No, no, no. This is this is 100% they did the right Custom. thing. No other hotel this side of the state wanted to take us yeah, from Seattle for to Bellingham. You messed up! What's interesting is that the organizers knew who was sending the letters. These are the things that were talked about in that letter, and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that. Uh, yeah. I, in my heart of hearts, I know who it is. It means more of an opportunity around, and it pisses me off. In case you missed that, what he's saying is, whoever sent the letters was the same person who was putting diapers on these cars. Friendly <laughs> fire? Running low on options, they started to look further outside of the city. They managed to find a venue in Spokane that was willing. Maybe? Maybe? It's a spy. Maybe it's a spy. There's an imposter, yeah. Maybe it's a spy. Sabotage, yeah. Like, literally, it's an imposter, man. To give them a shot. But by February, none of that mattered. The diaper wearing saboteur had sent out another letter, and Spokane backed out. So, Rainforest 2016 was cancelled. Understandably and so. That's Thanks the story of Paris. Rainforest. Interesting. So far. Oh no. Unlike Dashcon, Rainforest is coming back. And Rainforest 2017 promises to be bigger Chat, and did better come back, though? than ever. Oh no! RF 2017, they're bringing it back! They're bringing it back! Yes! I don't think... <laughs> I'm probably... Oh, so many memories! So many memories! It prob it probably didn't, Oops, right? Never mind, as I was editing this. Uh, yeah, okay, this there it is. So it's cancelled forever. Bye. <laughs> Good. One last thing. A couple months ago, I made a video called Balloon Boy, The Untold Story. Okay. Soon after, Richard Heaney got in touch. Here it is. All right. For a follow up to this story, check out my second channel, Incognito Mode. Well. Ferris be wild, man. Ferris a wild one. It's on a scale of cat girl to bad crap crazy. How much of a furry are you, cat girl? <laughs> cat girl. Have, have you seen me? Hello? You seen these ears? Do we get into incognito mode? We're, we're getting into incognito mode. I've been wanting to watch some videos.